Welcome, everybody. It's time once again for another episode of the OC Spotlight. Taking a look at the most incredible people doing the most amazing things right here in your own backyard. Today is no different than any other show in that we got an event coming up that we think everybody should know about here. And here to tell us more is Jennifer Becker. Welcome, Jennifer. Hi, thanks for having me. So we're here talking about the largest pet and pet products expo that happens every time this year at the OC Fair and Event Center right here in Orange County, right? Correct. Yes, it's the America's Family Pet Expo. It's next weekend, Friday, April 27th through Sunday, April 29th. And I got to tell you, the first year we did this, I thought, okay, pet expo. So there'll be a lot of uh, dog food and there's a few cats and cages and, you know, it's the last thing I want. It's just a bunch of junk to buy for cats or dogs or your pets. This is not that at all. I mean, there's some of that stuff. I guess you can buy, you know, little fur collars for your pets and pet beds and stuff like that. But this isn't just a vendor show. This isn't just what I expected. Tell us what we see at the world's largest pet and pet products expo. Well, I mean, we have so many new shows this year and so many new uh, community partners. We have the Orange County Beekeepers. They're going to be coming out with um, a couple hives to do some education about the importance of bees. Uh, we have uh, Sky River Butterflies and a couple hundred. Sky hives River Butterflies. What, what are Sky River Butterflies? i got to stop well, you on that one. That, that's the name of the company, and they, um, they're a mobile uh, butterfly enclosure. And so people will be able to walk inside and see all of these beautiful butterflies. Oh, my God. So um, they'll land on your pets. head or they'll land on your arms and all this stuff here, and you'll be exactly. flying, you'll be walking amidst the butterflies fluttering around. That's exactly it. So that's something new at the Pet Expo. And then what we're really excited about, I mean, we're excited about everything, is the, um, the Sea Lion Splash Show. So this oh. is a new aqu aquatic show, and it features sea lions that have been rescued from various parts of California. Oh my goodness! You already got me. You, you got me at sea lion here, particularly when you say rescued. So th this, because they actually have some giant like swimming pools. This is going to sound corny, folks, but you, if, if you've never seen it, go see it. It's a real cool thing to see. They have these dogs jumping. This contest where they throw frisbees in this giant above ground pool, and the dogs jump and catch it. And how far can he jump? And all sorts of other silly things like that. Now you're saying, in addition to that there's a seal show of some sort yeah the sea lion show and so that's an interactive uh show with between the seals and the trainers and they do fun tricks and uh, it's also an education op educational opportunity for people to learn about sea lions um and you know how they've been rescued and their stories so that's a, it's going to be a really fun show anybody who loves pets and it, isn't that just about all of us these days i mean we're just such a pet crazy uh country here these days um there's something for everybody there's giant um, cat competitions, and you can see exotic breeds like my wife loves so much. You can certainly see the same for dog, for breeds that you may not ever get to see up close anyplace else, and they have dog judging contests and whatnot. But they have all these other cool events where you can see them, just fun stuff. Bring your kids, bring your family, and watch all these. Uh, the horses, The the I'm assuming they have the canine competitions for the police and all that kind of stuff before. Uh, yep, yep. We have the Anaheim um, Police and Protection Dogs. They're going to be outside doing some of their demos. And we also have hogs and dog races. And, um, you know, we've got Joe Crosswall, the free flight bird show with his um, menagerie of exotic birds. And we also have Repticon, which is the largest reptile uh, exhibit expo um, on in the West Coast. And I got to talk about that because I'm a little shaky about reptiles and snakes. I'm not sure I'm that crazy about them. But my four-year-old grandson, who we took last year, that was his favorite part. He never got to yeah. see tarantulas and exotic reptiles and snakes up close. And many of these booths, there's it's like a whole, a whole hall filled with reptiles. And you it's can touch them hall. and it's see them. And, yes, you can purchase them and learn about them and all sorts of other things there, too. There's vendors. There's dealers, all the stuff. But you get to see some exotic reptiles uh um, uh, bearded dragons and all these other kinds of things that I don't even know what they're called. Um, and he just was in awe of the whole thing. Oh yeah. I mean, they're really, they're beautiful creatures and, you know, and, and we're going to have, um, uh, Orange County reptile rescue out. And so they're going to be educating people about their, re the, their, uh, collection of reptiles and, um, 
you'll be able to see and hold and touch them. Uh, they'll have a reticulated python. They have a pixie frog, which is an oversized bullfrog. They hmm. have, um, yeah, they have a ton <laughs> of lizards and you name monitors. It. And I, I don't know what the difference between a lizard and a monitor is, but there are all these different sorts of things that you just don't see anywhere else. So no, is no, it exotic? Yes. Is it informative? Absolutely. If you have any interest in owning a pet or you are a pet owner, it's, there's a million products and other sorts of things. But more than anything, there are pets there. There are There's a whole a hall filled with cats. There's a whole hall filled with dogs. There's a whole hall filled with reptiles and, and turtles and lizards and all these other things. There is the bird. I, I just, I don't know why I've never gone to that. I know it's been, how long has it been going on? It's been going on for years and years. Yeah, there, this is their 29th year. 29th year. And am I mistaken? Is this just hyperbole or is this really the world's largest event? Certainly west of the Mississippi, I think they said it last year. It definitely is. It's the world's largest event. It takes up the entire uh, property of the Orange County Fairgrounds. So, I mean, we last year we had more than 47,000 people come. Wow. And, I mean, it's a huge event. And people come from all over Southern California to learn and see and just enjoy the weekend with, with animals. Yeah, right. Well, it, it is that. It, it I thought it would be much more product-based, like you would go to a home show expo and it would just be vendors selling you different products. And there's some of that there. You can certainly buy lots of things for pets. Uh, and there are certainly vendors there selling pets or whatever. You can do it. But you also have a lot of rescue animals. That's what surprised me. There are people adopting animals like crazy out of it. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, definitely. So last year we had more than 500 animals rescued at the Pet Expo throughout the three-day weekend. We have rescues from throughout Southern California. And, you know, not only, you know, can you get your, you know, basic house cat, um, dog, you know, whatever, yeah, right. And a fun dog, but there's specialty breeders too that you can rescue. You know, if you really want a lab or a collie or you know a specialty dog, you know, there's there's organizations at the pet expo that will put you in contact with those um, rescues. With like greyhound rescues, that's always a big cause of my wife. Uh, you know, the many people don't think greyhounds should be raced, and then and then when they're retired. There's no place for them to go, so people rescue these greyhounds that have formerly exactly, run in tracks. Exactly. And... So there's, there's, you know, the main point of the the expo is to educate people on animals, and you know, we believe that there's an animal that's best for your your family, and you know, we want just want to educate people to make the right choice because it's a forever choice. Well, that's what surprised me. I thought it would be just selling stuff for current pet owners, and there is that there. But it's much more than that. It's a chance to see animals of all shapes and sizes you would never actually get to touch and see and talk to the people who raise them or understand them and find out if this is an animal. You think it'd be fun to own a boa constrictor? Go find out, you know. Um, exactly. You, th you think you want to do some exotic turtles or more than a hamster? Go find out what it takes to do those. And before you just go to the pet shop and buy one of these things, go talk to the breeders. Go talk to the people who really understand these things because otherwise you know then we all do we we get an animal we think it's fun and then we find out it's 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 a lot of work it's a living creature you they rely on you you gotta take care of them that's more. exactly it yeah yeah so who puts on this whole thing is it the uh, is it the um um uh, there's some sort of expo of uh, uh manufacturers world. of dog foods or something like that well it's the world pet uh, association and they're a trade trade organization for the pet industry right these are people that make the the different foods and exactly. i guess exactly yeah, these right? are leaders in the um in the pet industry and um you know they just like i said they just really want to educate people on animals and animal care safety and um their well-being yeah. So it's fun and entertaining. It's silly. It's exotic. It's everything under the planet. And it's a it's a lot of it's uh, very strong information base and a lot of good work is done there. You know, animals exactly, that yeah. otherwise okay, come early and stay late, but uh, bring your pets, <laughs> leave your pets at home. So. so how many days is this? This is it's, it's three days, Friday, so Saturday, Friday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, Friday and Sunday, 10 to 6. And Sunday, Saturday, ten to seven. So this must be really expensive to have that much there. This must be what a hundred dollars to get in to see this thing. No, it's no. It's <laughs> only it's uh, kids are ten dollars. 
seniors 13 and adults are 15. And if you're five and under like my grandson, it's free, F-R-E-E. Free. I'm telling you, yeah. you, every grandparent looking for something to do with their grandkids, take them to the Pet Expo. They will be there all day. They will remember everything they see. And who knows, maybe you'll go home with a pet here. Exactly. That's exactly it. Well, I think it's a great thing. I'm, I'm, shame on me. All the years I've lived in Orange County, never thought of going. And um, over the last couple of years, as as you've introduced us to this event, we've certainly helped Good. promote it and push it out because I think it's a fun event for the whole family. How many things can you go to like that where it, everybody gets a kick out of it, from grandma and grandpa all the way down to the grandkids? Everybody, there's the, something there for everybody. Yep, that's exactly it. It's for the whole family. Ten bucks for kids under uh, 12, 15 bucks general admission. How can you lose? And, of course, we will be giving away some free tickets here for those on our social media links, so check out that as well. America's Family Pet Expo, the world's largest pet and pet products expo. Thank you, Jennifer Becker, for coming on and telling us all about it here. Great. Well, thank you for having me. All right. Are you going to be there every year? I mean, do you go? Right. What do you do? You work I any of the booths or anything? I, I mean, are well, you? I work the whole expo. So <laughs> I there Friday morning, Sunday night. Are you throwing the frisbee for the dog as he jumps in the pool, or helping Definitely. the police uh, set up the cones as they run through yeah. their exercise here? <laughs> exactly. Yes, that's exactly it. All right. Well, look for Jennifer. She'll be there everywhere for, at the world's largest pet and pet products expo, April twenty seventh through the 29th at the Orange County Fair and Event Center. Um, right here in Orange County. Thanks, Jennifer. Great. Thanks for having me. Well, once again, you've been listening to another episode of OC Spotlight, where we took a look at the most incredible things happening right here in your own community, like the upcoming annual World's Largest Pet Expo. It really is a lot of fun. Go check it out. The Orange County Fairgrounds coming up soon, April 27th through the 29th.